One of the most asked questions of all time that I get, how to heal from a heartbreak and how to let go of that pain. If you want to know how to heal from that heartbreak and how to let go of someone, even though it is not easy, stay tuned and keep on watching because I am going to tell you. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. I'm Yaz and in this channel I speak about all things spirituality, healing, letting go, um, just finding your self-worth, finding yourself again and I love to help people realize the power that they have within that they don't need validation from any outside source so that is something that I'm passionate about therefore I decided to make these videos for you guys because I have healed in so many different ways and I have come into my power as a woman and guess what I want to give these little tips and these little tricks and these little things that I've been through and my experiences and bring it on into videos and just kind of help you on your journey as well your journey to manifesting the life that you want your journey to heal those past relationships those past hurts all that toxic energy i that is my most desired wish is to be a motivational speaker and to help people become the best version of themselves. I am not an expert, like I said, but I am a person who's been through a lot of crap and I want to help others get through it just like I had help from people get, you know, that helped me get through my stuff too. And as someone who has gotten my heart broken many times, I am no expert in relationships because God knows that I have my own issues. However, I have healed and I have been able to let go of all that toxic energy. It feels amazing when you finally do heal and finally find your worth and find yourself again and get back to that amazing person you're meant to be. And I'm just going to speak about some tips that work for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Like I said, I am no expert, but I will give you a little advice and you can use it if you like. And if you don't, it's okay. Step number one, allow yourself to feel the shitty emotions. And I know this sounds so contradicting because people would say, you need to just forget about it and move on and just let it go and let it go. Okay, you need to move on and let it go, but how do you let it go? That is, that is the question. How do I let go of feelings and things that I can't seem to let go of? And that is the hardest part is how do you let it go? And to be honest with me, my from my experience is to sit down with those shitty emotions, sit down with that heartbreak, with all that pain, acknowledge it, realize that it's there, cry if you have to cry, listen to the sad love songs because we know we all been there and we've done that, eat that ice cream, drink that wine. Obviously, if you're over 21, if you're under 21, no wine drinking for you. It is that easy, but you do have to acknowledge those shitty emotions and realize that that pain and what you're going through is absolutely normal to be hurt, to feel sad, to feel, you know, like you're not enough, to feel that you weren't enough, right? That what is wrong with me that they couldn't love me the way I love them. And that is completely normal and you should not feel guilty about that. It is completely okay to feel shitty after someone broke your heart. So don't allow anyone or anything make you feel that that's not okay because it is completely normal. You are a human being who feels love, who feels emotions, and it is okay to be in pain and to be hurting. Acknowledging those emotions and allowing, allowing them to come to the surface would allow you to get rid of all that toxic energy because if you keep those emotions trapped, if you are the type of person who just pushes down your emotions, pushes down the emotions, to the very deep of your core because you don't want to deal with them because when you deal with them it makes you feel worse what's going to happen is that you're going to keep building up all that toxic energy and negativity and regret and 
you know, that regret, that sadness, that, you know, resentment, hating the person. And those emotions are not good for your well-being and they're actually not going to help you heal faster. The point of healing from a heartbreak is that healing and healing cannot be done until we acknowledge the pain that has caused this, right? So you need to sit down with these emotions and you need to baby yourself, take care of yourself, acknowledge that pain, but then you need to let it go. But acknowledging the pain first is the first step. So do not keep that resentment bottled in within because it's just going to make it worse. You might feel good for a few months, but a few months later down the line, you are going, there's going to be something that might trigger those emotions to come back up. For example, you might find another person that you like, that you want to try something new with, you know, as you're moving on, you want to try something, but you get into this relationship and you still have these insecurities or these bottled up emotions from a previous relationship. Therefore, you're going to bring all that toxic energy into your current, you know, into that current relationship. And it's, then it's going to be a problem and it's not going to work because you never healed from all the toxic energy that you should have dealt with before you decided to get into a new relationship. And everyone will tell you, let him go or let her go. It's not worth it. Let it go, let it go, let it go. You're going to start sounding like the Frozen movie, right? Remember Elsa when she was singing that song? So therefore... People are going to sound like a broken record. Your friends, your family, whoever, they're going to start telling you, why are you holding on to this person? This person does not value you. This person doesn't appreciate you. And that is completely okay. Obviously, your friends and family, they love you and they want the best for you. Therefore, they're going to put their two cents in. We all do it. I do it with my friends. My friends do it with me. That is completely normal. However, remember that the person who's feeling the pain is you and it is completely okay to take your time to let this person go and to, or to heal from what it is that's hurting you. And that is completely okay. So do not beat yourself up about it. Do not feel guilty about holding on to someone for that, you know, for a long time. That is completely normal because you're going to heal and move on at your own pace. We're all different. Everybody processes emotions differently therefore we cannot all heal and move on from a person at the same pace or at the same time and you need to stop beating yourself up about it stop feeling guilty about it stop stressing over it just go at your own pace and when the time is right you will heal what needs to be healed and you'll be in a better mental and heart space in order to be able to move forward with your life I cannot stress enough how being busy actually helps you heal and move on faster because a lot of the times what we do is that we keep ourselves stuck you know just watching tv or you know listening to songs it's okay like i said my first tip was to acknowledge the emotions but make sure that you don't acknowledge these emotions forever <laughs> you know what i mean like make sure that you also in the process of after you acknowledge this pain and these emotions in the process you keep yourself busy occupy start a hobby maybe there's a hobby you always wanted to do start that go out with your friends have fun exercise eat healthy start becoming the best version of you everything you've been wanting to do and maybe you didn't do it because you put so much time and energy into that person that broke your heart then use this time to do those things but keep yourself busy and occupied because it will help you get your minds off things and it's going to help you move on quicker and faster from this heartbreak but that is very important to surround yourself with family and friends and people that love you and people that care about you and have fun and believe and have faith that when the time is right the universe will send you the right person into your life but if you get stuck on that heartbreak it's going to be very hard to attract the right person into your life and you might actually end up attracting the same type of guy or girl that broke your heart if you don't deal with those emotions like i'm saying and that is a topic for another video on why do you keep attracting the same situations people and relationships type of relationships i hope that you heal yourself that in this journey of this heartbreak you find yourself you find your healing you find happiness and you find your worth because you are worthy of love you are worthy 
of finding someone that loves and respects you for who you are. Before you find that, you need to work on yourself first. You need to work on your inner healing. You need to heal that heartbreak before you could jump into another relationship or try to be with someone else because you don't want to bring all those all that negativity and toxicity you know into a new relationship because then you're gonna keep having the same issues the same problems therefore i wish you much success much healing in your journey um please comment below let me know on what helped you heal from a heartbreak or any tips and tricks you have for someone else that is going through this right because remember that we want to help people be the best version of themselves we want to we're all in this together you know there's no separation we're all human beings trying to live the best life that we can and when you can offer an encouraging word to someone else that's going through something you know that helps that person it also helps you um in your journey as well because you know that you're offering something that is bringing value to someone else's life especially if you've been through stuff and you know how it feels when you're heartbroken and sad and you know and sometimes it's so hard to feel like no one understands you you know thank you for watching this video i hope that you liked it stay tuned for my next video bye